Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, just about 10 o'clock in Honolulu, 4 o'clock in New York. It is Tuesday, November 27th, 2018, and this is the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. We do have sharp declines in the precious metals markets, with the exception of palladium. We'll look at that in a second, but gold is currently down about $9.70 with December futures trading at 12 1270 Silver also trading under the gun, giving up about $0.12 cents today at 1408 And as I said, the only precious metal that's actually moving higher today is palladium, up by $2.50 at 1127 and definitely coming closer to parity with gold. Now, the dollar has provided some real headwinds to make any kind of a move with about a third of a percent gain up at 97.26. So we are tracking near the most recent highs and with an hour left to go in trading, we have seen a pretty sharp recovery of U.S. equities. Dow Jones Industrial Average went from negative to now being positive 32 points. The S&P 500 also going into positive by about six points. And lastly, the composite index up fractionally higher at 7087. Traders, what a difference a day makes. Yesterday, I was commenting on the fact that it did appear as though the shorter term moving average, the 50 day, was about to cross above the longer term 100 day moving average. However, today we see gold in a sharp decline, breaking through what I believe is a pretty critical level of support. And we'll talk about our current target. When we look at our daily chart, and that's what I have up, we can see a number of instances where this particular price point is defining, for example, support here, and then again, resistance here. We can see that there was one occasion where the market was trading above this area, broke, but only broke for a single day, and then traded sharply higher the following day. Now, that doesn't mean we're going to see that occur tomorrow, because what the market is currently reacting to is whether or not some sort of resolution will get struck in terms of the current trade war between China and the United States. So we have broken through a significant level, and my sense is, all things being equal, just on a technical basis, we could easily see gold make a play for $1,200 again before finding support. However, with the G20 shortly, all eyes are going to be on the outcome between the heads of China and the United States as they work towards a resolution of the trade war. We are currently flat. I want to see where the dust settles here before taking on any kind of an active position in the market. And traders, when looking at this particular move today, we're down almost $10 on the day. What is significant is that we have about equal parts selling and equal parts dollar strength combined to really give us this outcome. I've just put up the Kitco Gold Index for spot gold, currently fixed at 12.1270. A decrease due to a strengthening dollar, that's accounting for $4.15 of today's decline with the remaining 475 directly related to sellers in the marketplace itself. And traders, as we talked about at the beginning of the show, Palladium is the only precious metal to be showing positive gains today. Although palladium is trading only up about $2, $1.90 currently at $11.2660. It is dynamic and I believe coming closer and closer to parity with gold. Gold is currently trading at, call it $12.13, palladium at $11.26. So we've taken the differential between these two precious metals to under $100 at this point. I think that gap will continue to narrow. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.